this is the steering wheel that I'm using. Came off a 2013 Jetta TDI, so it only has one side buttons. So it has a volume up and then uh, the track, answer phone, microphone, or no microphone, um, voice um, button, I guess it was called. So it needs to have that thing in the middle right there. So the one that controls your your uh, buttons. Then you need to have the airbag, of course. So it looks like this. So the part number for that it's where's it at? Somewhere right here. So it's one T zero. A A zero two zero one S A one U. So is this for this specific steering wheel? Uh, make sure you get the right harness too. It needs to have this extra uh, connector that connects into the middle right there, right here. So you can use the GTI, GLI. It has two sides. Um, the buttons on both sides. That'll be fine too, but for this model, the SE, so it's not worth it, I guess, um, because you don't really have a, too many like, functions, so on the cluster, so nothing's gonna work these days. But yeah, I'll keep you updated with the UCDS retrofitting Mars 6 Jetta 2.5 SE um, with the non Bluetooth or anything. So I upgrade the stereo. For the RNS 315 with the navigation so this car is like the base model so it doesn't have the buttons doesn't have on it so I'll show you so there's basically no buttons on it so this, that's the Jetta 2.5 SE so this is a regular fitting I found this for pretty cheap. So steering wheel. I don't need the, all the fancy stuff on this side. Just volume up and down, answer and all that. So that's all you need. So I bought this airbag, steering wheel. Um, so all you need to know, all you have to do is So you gotta get to this point to get all the uh, to get to the clock spring. So you gotta make sure that's the part number on your clock spring. Five C O nine five nine six five four. Um. So on here, this little plug hookups into right there so you gotta remove this bar this inside there just like you get it out of there take this off we'll push it up and pull it up 
and it gives you this. So now, all you have to do is run one wire, and it goes into number eight, which is this one right here. Just this one right here, corner. So I have the lighting, but the camera is on focus and very good. That's right there, the eight from the corner. So you run the wire through here. I tape around, goes through here, all the way down. The steering wheel in there. I just run it through here, then I splice it into this one to the BCM. So that's your BCM computer. That's your monitor. So it goes into this Y. Play plug And this splices into two. So you gotta kind of do this like that. Then it poses both wires. So the wire that I show you goes on slot 17, which is this one on the corner right here. So the skinny. In a connector, not this one. So you see the difference on the smaller. So you just look for 17, so, but you have to split them, take them apart. Then you, you run the wire. So you splice the, the wire that's coming from this wire over here that goes under the clock spring. And goes from there and I splice it into two right there and from there that goes all the way there it's right here here it goes there that's it then you have to go to BCA BCDS and then I think it's uh, central electronics I think by I can't remember the buy on it, but you kind of had to play with it. Then it go, you had to enable the multi-function steering wheel. Then that's it. Everything should work. Thanks for watching. Okay, now everything is back together. As you can see, the buttons doesn't work or the horn because it needs to be coated with BCDS so so see nothing's working so only the lights are on all right so let's go here BCDS so let's go on the control so let's go central electronics Low. Focals. 
and all these four chords. So a control module for multifunction steering wheel, no signal communication. And so all the control module correct coding. Okay. So you're gonna get rid of those codes. So let's go to coding. So long coding helper. Then in. we have an extra window. So we're gonna go all the way here. Which is number 13. So let's so let's select multifunction steering wheel stop go exit and do it coding accept it okay this way and go to four codes so we got all these codes just click codes yes no more codes close control go back go back next it alright so now let's go back here now, the controls work. See. So, we can change stations or the track, whatever. So, the boys. No phone works. connected. Please connect a phone. That. and the work the horn works that's it pretty easy all right guys so in the last video i say that i don't need an extra side buttons because i only have this one because i want to just control the buttons for the for the stereo and then calls and nope. all that Okay, so now I found that you can actually add controls on this side, but only these three are the only ones that, that work. So these two and that one don't work, just these three. So what it does, so on the middle screen, will change to miles to empty, miles per gallon, um, warning like a speed warning so so you just have to add this one then and plug into this the module that is inside there so of course you have to take off the the airbag again but i recommend buy the whole thing if you want to do this whole swap um i guess you can use the gti or the gli um, now the now that we can use these buttons to control the center center screen or the M M F D whatever it's called. So okay, so once you got it all connected and stuff, and then so you're gonna go. You have to use PCS again. So you have to go. Let's see. We're gonna go, so VCDS, so select, we're gonna go, this time we're not gonna go to central electronics, we're gonna go to instruments, so instruments, then in here we're gonna go to coding again long coding helper and it's gonna pop this window so on this one so we go byte one and bit three so multifunction display active install okay so that's how we have to do just check this this one and go exit and do it 
That's it. Okay. So, one thing that I found is sometimes when you when you go over here, so let's say you got this one, select, whatever. And then when you got to do it, you probably have another window that will have three options. It says yes, no, and then cancel. So hit no, so the so BCS can find the 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 module to code the steering wheel. Because that's what happened for me once. So and you say do it. And that's it. So let's go back, close controller, go back, exit. Alright. So now this is the magic. That's what you see. We have a let's see if you can see it that way. So miles. So the miles. So miles to empty, miles per gallon, your average. So that's when you're moving. So that's, it's gonna show you miles per, per gallon. Um, so that will be, I guess that's the time of the car has been running today, I think. So temperature, so that's the warning. So it's your miles per, per hour warning. So if you hit OK, it'll flash. So you can go up, up to 160. Then go down to 20. So if you want to just reset it, just hit OK one more time and reset it. And yes, your screen in the middle for miles per gallon. So I don't know what that is, but it's just another functionality. So it has one for one driver and two drivers. So that's or two trips, I say. So trip one, trip two, trip one, trip two. And that's it. I hope you like it.